It's a fabulous verdict. You know, I think we're all thrilled. It feels like a verdict not only for E. Jean, but for thousands and thousands of other women who have had these experiences and wished that they could be uh, validated in this way. People have the right to go to courts and go to prisons and go to police officers and say, I was raped, I was assaulted. That is your right and you should take that right if you were assaulted, if you were raped. But what you are not allowed to do is say, I don't have a year, I don't have a date, I'm not sure if it happened, I'm not sure when it happened. And guess what? I was in Bergdorf Goodman, but he lived across the street and nobody saw it. And now you're 30 years deep. We actually can't tell you when you are because we can't give you a date or, or, or any details and there was no witnesses. But hey, I'm gonna say you raped me. And in 2016 and 2019, hold on, when she first said it in 2019, she didn't like him as a candidate. And now she's gonna say it again when in 2024 he's the leading candidate. You're not allowed to do that. That is un-American. So no, this isn't about rape victims, this is about politics. First of all, the overwhelming majority of women don't scream. The overwhelming majority don't report. They don't go back the next day to see if there's video footage. I mean, that's just simply not what people do in general. Um, I think it's important to know that when people are terrorized and rendered helpless and um, stunned by a sudden assault as she was, we often don't do what we, uh, what we imagine we might do. You know, we often don't scream or, or run or do any of the things that in our fantasies we thought we might do. Instead, we fall back on things that are habitual often. For E. Jean, that was fighting. You know, she fought physically hard, but screaming was not a habit for her, and it isn't for most women.